I, one of the men accused in the murder in the death of murder in the death of Jared Bridegan is back now in Duval County. Mario Fernandez Saldana is charged in the 2022 shooting death of Bridegan. The suspect is married to Bridegan's ex wife, Shauna Gardner Fernandez. So we told you yesterday when the state attorney's office announced the suspect was brought to Jacksonville and our team coverage on this case begins in Duval County this evening where on your size Katie Jeffries was at his first court appearance. Shackled at the wrists and ankles, Mario Fernandez Saldana made his first appearance here at the pretrial detention facility in Duval County. It was a quick appearance. The only words he spoke were to greet the judge. Mr. Fernandez, good morning. Good morning. Um, this is he is facing a murder charge and conspiracy to commit murder charge, among other charges, in the death of Jared Bridegan. The father of four was murdered outside the sanctuary neighborhood after dropping off his twins to his ex-wife's home in what police have described as a targeted killing. Fernandez is married to Bridegan's ex-wife, Shauna Gardner Fernandez. She has not spoken publicly about this case since her husband's arrest. The other person arrested and charged in this case, Henry Tennant, who prosecutors say was the shooter, did plead guilty to second degree murder charges a week ago and also agreed to testify in this case. As for the investigation, prosecutors and law enforcement say it is still ongoing and that they want to get everyone who was involved in Brightigan's murder. Reporting here in Duval County, Katie Jeffries, First Coast News on your side. Katie, thank you. And for the first time, the company owned by the family of Jared Bridegan's ex-wife, Shauna Gardner Fernandez, is responding to the arrest of her current husband. On your side's Taylor Levesque is live tonight outside the jail where Fernandez is being held without bond. So Taylor, what do the letters say about Fernandez? The letter from Stampin' Up, a company owned by Gardner's family, points out that Shauna and Mario had been separated for quite some time. It also goes on to point out what employees at the company had been going through since Fernandez Saldana was taken into custody. It's believed that Fernandez and Gardner separated sometime after April 30th of 2022 based on the family's blog post. This would be roughly two and a half months after Jared Bridegan was killed in an ambush. Now this morning, Fernandez appeared in front of a judge for the first time wearing an orange jumpsuit. He definitely stood out from others in custody wearing green and gray. He, we found out he is being held um, facing a capital offense, which is and he is also being held without bond. That's why he was in orange. A crime and safety expert Mark Bachman says it will now be up to Fernandez to cooperate with authorities. The defense will look at the evidence. Or the attorney who represents him will look at the evidence, sit down and talk to him, see what his feelings are. Uh, who knows, he may want to cooperate. And if he does, then they'll go back to the state and they'll start those conversations, which could lead to him sitting down and proffering information about anybody else involved. It lends you to believe, though, based upon the way the documents were put out at the arrest of Fernandez, is that you're looking at uh, potentially somebody else being involved for the amount of redacted information that was in the arrest documents uh, leading up to uh, being released after Mario Fernandez's arrest. At this time, Bridegan's ex-wife has not been charged with any crime, but prosecutors did note that her divorce from Bridegan was bitter. The Gardner family company, Stamp It Up, did not respond to our request for comment, and Fernandez is due back in court on April 4th. In downtown Jacksonville, Taylor Levesque, First Coast News, on your side.